institution as Carson's has announced the closure of its remaining stores across the nation. Carson's originally got its start in Evergreen Park, anchoring the Evergreen Plaza Mall. After a long period of decline, that mall ended up closing in 2013. However, Carson's announced that they would be staying open. Carson's uh, also announced that they would be moving to a new store directly behind their existing one in that indoor mall's redevelopment to an outdoor mall. The new store opened in 2016, and during the grand opening, Bonton described it as a prototype store, and it would be featuring details that have never been seen in another Bonton store. They also promised that they would be the hometown department store for generations to come. Well, that really did not pan out, because about a year and a half later, uh, Bonton announced that they would be closing all stores, including the Carsons, at the Evergreen Plaza. Right now we're going to start the tour on the second floor in the men's department. The store is set up pretty simply. Uh, the second floor is where men's, kids, and home, home is, and the lower level is you know, where the women's stuff is. Compared to the old store, which was absolutely massive, they completely downsized it. There's not really a lot of, you know, like, dead space in this store, so what they try doing is try fitting in a lot of merchandise in less space, which is really a good strategy to have because, you know, a lot of these department stores have found that they have too much real estate. This store, you know, was the right size. This was, you know, one of the weirdest liquidation sales to go to for me. The store, you know, felt new. It looked new inside, but they had store closing signs up. The escalator atrium here really leaves a lot to be desired. I really was kind of disappointed by this store. Everything here is just, you know, white and generic. It just does not, it just looks plain. It has no soul in its design. I kind of wish I got to see the older store before it moved into this location. It looked like it was very different from this one in good and bad ways. Uh, right now, we're going to go and check out the lower level. It was really crowded down there, so it was kind of hard to film. I apologize for all those short shots, I really try to avoid getting customers into my video. Something you don't really hear about when it comes to these vacant department stores is the city saying that they're already talking to multiple tenants about coming into this space. 
I think they're not going to have a hard time trying to fill this space up because this is, you know, a very high traffic area. You know, this Evergreen Park is right across the street from Chicago and a lot of people from the south side shop here and there's really not a lot of like, you know, suburban style retail on the south side. So a lot of stores, I think, would want to enter Evergreen Park. Let's take a few, you know, quick looks at the uh, front end of the store. It was really hard to film this section because over by the entrance, they had security guards checking people's receipts. Okay, right now we are at Carson's at Chicago Ridge Mall, which is about 15 minutes away from the one in Evergreen Park. This store originally opened in 1981 and is now closing. This store, for some reason, was doing this strange uh, oriental rug sale. Uh, apparently this has something to do with the liquidators only wanting to sell rugs in only a few stores. It's really weird. This store appears to have been remodeled in the last few years, and it looks really good in my opinion. It looks so much better than the Evergreen Park Carsons. This store is one of my favorite Carson stores for several reasons. It has this, you know, nice looking soft brown and soft green look that I've never seen before. And this store is actually pretty pleasant. But none of that really matters because the store is closing. This store also has a very similar layout to Evergreen Park. Women's is on the first floor, and then men's, children, home, and lingerie is on the second floor. That was now your cue that we're on the second floor. In these department stores, even when they're in normal operation, the store's home departments are always kind of a mess. Above the store's exterior entrances, they have these little light wells that allow light into the store. The kids department here features, you know, a lot of, you know, bright colors that make it, like, very energizing to be in. The mall's owner, Starwood Retail Partners, uh, gave this statement to the Chicago Tribune about the mall's future. They said, We know that retail real estate is a constantly evolving entity, and we look, f we look to former anchor locations as a huge opportunity to add mixed-use components to the property as we serve our guests evolving needs. That essentially means that they have no clue what they're doing yet, but they just had to give a statement to the Tribune because they were asked about it. But I wish them luck in redeveloping this space. Oh yeah, by the way, we're in the really nice men's apartment right now. I mean, this restroom hallway is even fancy, for goodness sakes. This clearance section really illustrates the fact that you're not getting a good deal during liquidation sales. Normally, clearance would be about 70% off. Here, it was 60% off. Here's the lingerie section. I don't really know what to say here. Now I want to give a shout out to the coolest escalator atrium on this channel since Spring Hill. From the mall entrance, you can see how busy this store is, and why this was a difficult video to film. Thank you for watching this combo video of the collapse of Carson's. If you would like to watch more, please click one of the two other videos on the screen now. Thank you.